the first step is to download the virtual box so you can go to the official website virtualbox.com and download both the files the windows host file and the extension pack now we will proceed with the installation of virtual box on windows click next next again next again click yes and install wait for the download to finish and then we will install the extension back go to preferences extensions click on the green icon choose the downloaded file and simply double click it and install it agree to the terms and conditions click next and the pack is installed now the next step is to disable your firewall and your defender simply click start type firewall go to advanced settings as you can see that the default firewall is on now you need to simply disable it to disable the firewall you need to simply click advanced settings now click windows defender firewall properties and turn off one by one private profile public profile click apply ok the last step is to disable your defender protection click manage settings turn off the real time protection cloud delivery protection and automatic and temper protection the second step is to download the required files so you can find the post link in the video description now you have to download the iso file and the virtual box code file you can download it via mediafire and google drive both so you simply click them and download them to your desktop this is the virtual box code and the iso file It's an 8GB file so it will take some time to download depending upon your internet connection. Now open your virtual box and create a new virtual machine. You can type any name. I am keeping Mac OS Moet. Increase the memory size, click create, increase the file size as well, click VHT and create. Now go to settings, under systems, increase the number of process to 4, go to display, increase your video memory, go to storage and attach your ISO file that you have downloaded. Now go to USB select 3.0 click ok and simply copy the name of your virtual machine now open the virtual box codes simply replace the name of your virtual machine that you have kept go to replace and replace it with the name Now open your CMD using administrator and execute commands one by one. Since I forgot to quit my virtual machine before running the codes, so I will again run the commands using CMD. This is an important step so please make sure you exit the virtual machine first and then execute your commands. Now open your virtual machine again and click start. Since we are running on a low configuration system, the process will take some time. You can simply attach the ISO file and click OK. Now 
now you will see a set of codes that you can ignore you can simply ignore these commands The time taken to execute these steps uh, is primarily dependent on the type of your system. So since if you are using a low profile system, it will take some time. is starting now you need to select your language select English now click disk utility and here is the primary disk the boss hard disk click erase name your hard disk I'm keeping it techreture.com you can keep it anything you want click erase click done close the utility now simply install your Mac OS now these are the basic steps for installing a operating system click agree agree to the terms select your hard disk This will take around 5 to 10 minutes to install. 